Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. And today we're taking a look in not a plugin, but well, I guess never never mind. I'm just dumb. Yes, it is a plugin. However, it's more looking into the core features of Model Engine this time. Custom mobs and import them into the game. It essentially handles the animations, scaling, and the mob creation itself. And then we can add an AI with Mythic Mob. But for this example, I'm not gonna be doing any AI stuff. We're just gonna be messing around with scaling, which is not new as in new, but it has recently came out, which I really do love. And I also want to be showing outlines. You can probably see in the background how the slimes have a red outline to it. It's very subtle because I didn't want to redo it with a transparency and transparency, but it's there. I'm going to be showing how to do all this stuff. But before we do, need a way to monitor your player's CPU, memory, and more with ease and a clean user-friendly control panel? Revive Node has you covered. Filter console errors effortlessly and install plugins or mods and different Minecraft versions with just a click. And wait, there's more. Use the promo code diamond in all caps at the checkout for 15% off your first purchase. Experience premium servers at a pocket-friendly price. Check it out today at revivenode.com. All right, let's begin with trying to add the outline to the actual mob itself. In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a cube. I'm just going to put it here for now, and I'm going to extend it out in all directions by just about one extra block, or I guess pixel in this situation. And looks good enough. And I'm going to do it all the way in the front as well. And in the back, just one, one. And of course, I'm going to do the bottom because when he is jumping, I don't want you to be able to see anything odd. After that, I'm just going to go ahead and create a texture. Just name this outline. Now I'm going to drag that into our body. And in here, I'm going to change it up a little bit. So I'm going to enable it, select the faces. And I just want it all to use one face. That way it avoids me having to color in or modify multiple if they're all just the same thing. So looks good. After that, we need to go into the painting. And here I'm just going to select a yellow so it matches the crown in a way. It's probably going to look bad, but hey, that's okay. After that, we're going to go into size. And in here, we're going to go ahead and put negative for all values. This may move the cube, and that's perfectly fine. We can easily move it back in. If you're doing a humanoid, I'm so sorry. And then we can just move it back into the body ever so slightly. There we go. And you can see that it's already sort of working. Sort of. Need to move it in one more. One thing that is suggested is if it doesn't show up, we can go to File, Preferences, and then Setting. And then in here, we can go into Preview, and then Render size we can go ahead and do outside and after that we can click close so in case it doesn't work for you you can do it like that and just like that we're essentially done we created a outline around our mob don't worry about if it looks a little janky now again this is due to how the engine renders it i do want to try to merge all these textures so i'll try to click here create and then i don't know why but for some reason it always keeps mixing in my textures with the primary one i don't know that's fine we'll keep it as the way it is we got that done now we can actually add some animations to it and this is where we're going to be doing scale. What I want to do is just whenever he walks, I want him to change his scale. And whenever he's idle, I just want him to kind of blob in his own goo. It's going to be super simple. And for that, I really haven't showed this in the past because it wasn't supported. But let's go ahead and do walk. And I'll just start with a keyframe on the whole body itself. And with that, we can just do position. At this point, I'm just selecting all of them because we can finally use every single method. And I just want him to be squashed a little bit like that. And then I'm going to copy the first keyframes and bring it back. Feels a little too slow. I'll move it in closer. I don't know if I like the items squishing with it. So what we can do for that is just create a different folder in the slime body. And I'm going to go ahead and just call this one body. Drag all the components in there. And that way, everything else here is going to be separate. So if I come in here, I'm going to copy this, but delete it, go into body, and then I can just paste those animation skills. It doesn't look better. I kind of preferred it when things were squashed with it. So it's your choice how you do it, but I just wanted to see how I would like it. And honestly, I just prefer it with everything being squashed. It just, it just looks right. So what I'll do is just make it, when it starts like that, we'll just make it jump in the air a little bit more. Now it feels like it's too fast. Let's go ahead and change it up a little. Now it works. I mean, it's a simple animation of just walking and I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on loop. I like it, not gonna complain too much. And for idle, I just want him to do the similar thing, but this time he's not gonna be moving off the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and select here, enable all base keyframes, and I'll just make it so he's squished just a little bit this time, because I don't want it to be too much. Move him back down so he's always touching the floor. It's really that simple. It's like idle animations are one of the simplest. This is a cube, so it's not gonna be too difficult. If you are doing anything more complex, I would highly suggest taking more time compared to what I'm doing, but that works out pretty well. I like it. I have no complaints to this. 
I'm not going to need the rest because, again, this is all for tutorial purposes. So I'm just here to show off the mechanics you can use within Model Engine now. If I wanted to, I can also change his scale by just going into Transform and Scale. This may affect other components, but luckily for me, it doesn't. I did want to make him a little bigger, so I'm going to do that. Just be careful whenever you do this. It may affect other parts of your mob that you did not want to affect beforehand. After that, I'll just go ahead. I keep on forgetting to actually accept it, so I'll just change Scale, and we're done. You can just go ahead and save project. Hey, and if you want to grab the files which are shown in the video, all you have to do is go to revival.com, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then click on content and then you'll be redirected to the contents page here you can download any previous work that we've done in the past or especially for this one the king slime hey, and while you're here you can also grab a server if you want all right we're in game and the first thing we're going to do is do slash meg in lowercase and we're going to go ahead and do summon and this is just a way we can check out the mob without having to add it within model engine and we're just gonna do Slime King. And I mean, it works. We can see the outline. However, I will say, I think it needs to be transparent and that's fine. This is all again for tutorial purposes. I'll probably just modify it and make it more transparent and I should in theory just make it look a lot better. So for us to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the other highlights except for this one. And I'm gonna go into paint and I'm going to essentially erase everything. Just go ahead and create the biggest brush I can. And just like that. Now I'm gonna go select like yellow. However, the only difference is I'm going to do is change the opacity. I'm gonna go into bucket and just change the opacity. Let's go for like a nice 10. And if I click, all the cubes in Fury should work now. So I come in here, enable everything, and you should see a outline around the mob. I can make it more yellow, it's looking a bit transparent. You know what? Yellow's not working. Let's change it up. Let's just go for white. Yeah, simple white. I'll just upload this and re download the resource pack. All right, so let's summon in again, and pr it, it probably is here. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's, ex the outline's extremely, extremely dull. I think it would have worked better if I didn't also didn't have a slime because the transparency with transparency probably doesn't look all the best. Let's go ahead and disable my shaders and see if it's easier. No. All right. And attempt number three. You know what? It works. It's a simple, nice red outline. If I disable the shaders, you can somewhat still see it again. It's probably just more of an issue in my end where I picked slime with a transparency issue like this, but it is visible. I could probably make it even more red, but I like where it is. And I mean, especially on shader packs, it, it looks really nice. And plus I got the slime actually doing the animations properly as I wanted. The scaling looks nice. I could probably slow it down because this, this is a pretty big creature and I don't want him to go too fast or else it just looks weird. But hey, for tutorial purposes, it works just fine. And now you guys know about scaling and about how to do an outline. When did I spawn that one in? Hey, that's the whole video right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to leave a like on the video. Other than that, I'm Diamond. And this is probably what YouTube thinks that you're going to want to see next. I don't know. Give it a try. I'm out. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.